On Missing and Murdered Indigenous Persons Awareness Day, the Great Falls community gathered to release petals into the Missouri River to recognize those they have lost. The city of Great Falls was bringing awareness to the missing and murdered indigenous people. There is Native American population here in Great Falls. I have moved here nine years ago, and it's really touching and healing to know that the city of Great Falls is somebody is doing something about the crisis of missing and murdered indigenous people. Many of the individuals present have very personal ties to this cause and participate in events such as these to continue to spread awareness of the issue. I have a niece, her name is Jermaine Charlo. She is still missing. I have had several family members that there's no justice that's been done about their murders, such as Michael Gardepe, Aiden Finley, Jacob Michelle, they're from the Flathead Reservation. There's been nothing done about people that have been murdered. So what does the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Peoples movement mean to you? My aunt was born at Fort Belknap Agency, but lived in Great Falls with the rest of our family. And in 2011, she went missing in the middle of March. And then about two months later, her body was found just across the river and oftentimes People compartmentalize MMIP issues as only being a reservation problem or only being a native problem. And this is an everybody problem. This is a human problem. This is an everywhere problem. Community members not only released petals into the river to remember those who have lost their lives, they also poured red sand into the cracked pavement to symbolize an important message. And the red sand is placed in the cracks to represent um, we have to stop indigenous people from falling through the cracks. This is a this is a conversation, this is a topic that people can't be silent on and so that's why you might also see um, the red handprints is to demonstrate that we, we have to um, speak out on this. The community's efforts to raise awareness will continue. Here in Great Falls, I'm McKenna Dickey with MTN News.